I've been working fast and furious on the smart wood shop plans. I've been blocking and that is the concept of spending my time with these simple boxes sized and adjusting them around so that I can figure out how this thing is going to come together before I spend a lot of time detailing out the cabinet. I've got the aisle offset to one side and I have plenty of room back in here. I can actually come around uh, back here. These are my cubbies. I took the bottom one, I made it a little taller and I shrunk it down though. Instead of being 16, it'll be 10. By pushing this back, that gave me this bit of a ledge here. And it's not really a workbench area, but the idea of I'm opening the drawers here if I want to lay things out as I'm, as I'm kind of organizing, getting my tools either put away or picked out, it gives me a little bit of a spot. And I still have somewhat of a workbench here, a little smaller than the others. That's where if I'm going to change a seal and a nail gun. The long drawers, uh, eight feet like before, a little wider, a little taller. I've split up the Vutainer storage, but I've taken the level storage and, and moved it, split it off and made a second one here. I would leave the back end open and where that would be an advantage, I've got one track that I always have to find another place for and I put it up in the rafters in art, but it can, now I can take it and put it with the rest of the tracks and it can just hang out the back here. Two workbenches, the total station and the compact bench. What I've decided to do is I, I didn't make this big enough to put the Polk workbench two in, which I plan on building myself another one. My thinking is that my current workflow, the total station is about 90%. And then when I'm going to make cabinets or bookcases or mantles, the bigger stuff, then I go to another bench. So I carry the compact bench there and I'll go ahead and set the compact bench and the total station up, taking these cabinets and made them the same depth and width. These two here, they're five feet tall but they're the same 23 and 7 eighths and 32. So all the drawers now, what are what I'm going for in this first pass is to make all the drawers uniform. So they'll, they'll be different. There'll be two, probably two heights of drawers, but the widths will be the same on all of them. So they can be reorganized instead of a shelf unit, a tall shelf unit with a broom closet, the way I had before I've put two, five foot sets of drawers. I found that the big deep drawers were really handy and very easy to organize. So I decided to go with two sets of those. By pulling the level storage out from the wall, I create some, some open long storage here. I get a couple of saw horses and a few things that I don't need all the time. If I walk around the cabinet to the back, instead of having a ladders here, filling this space the way they do in art, um, I thought that I could slip them around the corner. I have three ladders and they'll fit in this space. So I thought about putting a tall cabinet here that faced out this direction and, and that may happen. That's the whole point of design and being creative is trying different things. But um, I did think about if leaving it open for the ladders and my broom so I could put my brooms and dustpans ladders back in there tucked around behind that cabinet. So they're nice and organized, easy to get to. Put a cabinet here that opens on this side and use it exclusively for back stock of supplies. So that's the gallon bottles of glue, um, the big gallons of thinner and um, you know a couple of big boxes of nails. This cabinet here uh, wasn't going to put any drawers or anything in it. This is five feet tall. So that's as tall as I want to go with a drawer. You know, I've measured and I can uh, pretty much open a drawer and see into it at five feet. I don't want to go any higher than that. But because these cabinets are sitting out in, they'll be attached to the floor, but they wouldn't be attached to the wall. So a couple of things, adding this box on top, which would be just an open box with a lip so I could store uh, things up in there. And then this box going back to the wall. So then I would end up having the structure tied in nicely to the walls of the trailer as well as the floor. I kept room for a wheelbarrow, even though I did that in art and I never ended up getting one. Um, I just want to make space for it. It's my favorite kind of compressor. They are really much better on 110 power um, than the smaller compressor. Looking good so far. Good news. Tomorrow I am going up north to pick up my trailer. So I'm going to have it here. I'm going to go through and measure and just double check. It took a long time to get art figured out, decades. And so 
certainly I uh, didn't need to really reinvent the wheel here, just refine it for a wider, shorter trailer. One more thing, I got an email today from Ernie. He has the uh, art plants, he's building art for himself, and he sent me a link and I wanna share it with you. This is a, a plate that's designed to fit in a, on a standard electrical box, but he's putting it in the floor where I drop the hoses and cord through the floor and I just drill you know, a round hole and I sort of soften the edges and I pull the cords out. He is putting a rectangular hole in the floor and these have rollers on them. So whichever way the cord goes, it'll, you know, it'll run those rollers. And so that's an idea I'm gonna take from Ernie and add it to the smart wood shop. So the smart wood shop gets a little smarter. I'm gonna do these updates as I continue through the design. I'm gonna give you a walkthrough when the trailer is down in the shop. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do tomorrow is go, when I pick it up, I'm gonna go buy a stereo shop that, that does my uh, car stuff, mobile music in Mount Vernon, and they're gonna either install a backup camera on the trailer, or they are going to give me the camera and the cable and just show me where to run it. Cause I want to get that in before I start plywooding the walls and things. And even though my truck is a little older, doesn't have that kind of deck in it. So I can't really use the camera. I want the trailer all wired up because the, when I pick up the F-150 to replace the 350, uh, if it doesn't have all of that in it, then I'll take it to mobile music and they'll put in the same unit that I put in the Honda Element. If you want a set of plans to start your own smart wood shop, the art plans are available for download. Thanks for taking the time to watch and Ernie, thanks for this heads up. Have a great day.